Hey there everybody. <coughs> uh, I'm going to first of all, before we get started, apologize for any hacking, coughing, sniffing, snorting, or uh, poor sound quality. That's mainly, I can't hear, really hear my own voice. I've got this allergy or cold going on, and it's uh, proving me difficult to shake. So what I wanted to do now is look at the NATO movement and turn. Uh, we're halfway through the turn. And in fact, let me grab the sequence of play and tell you exactly where we are. Uh, so we just finished the uh, first NATO segment. I think I've got an opportunity to do regroups on people. I haven't done that yet. So for instance, these guys here, they retreated, so they will get back one because they didn't move in this segment. And these guys did not move in the segment. They're, oops, they're up to a two. Let's do those while I'm with you there. And uh, make a little marker here. I don't know where I'm up to because I don't think anyone else gets any. They moved. These guys all moved. Uh, so, anyway, so. I didn't do a, a diagram of where the different cores were for the Western uh, forces, the NATO forces, mainly because there, there's a fair bit of overlap with them and, uh, and forces are fairly spread out. Uh, you know, the third, third core has a second armored, which is near Dortmund, and uh, they, but they also spread out to other locations as well. Uh, the Seventh Corps uh, has units near Dortmund, actually in, Za in Saarbrücken, and I moved them to Dortmund. And I'm just trying to find where I where is Dortmund there, where I'm, I think. So these guys were all the way down here, I moved them up there. Uh, so I've shuffled things around a little bit. I haven't been quite as mindful of the historical uh, allocations of forces. And I don't think that really matters very much. In, in this situation, you're going to move forces where you need to as the NATO player. And you would attach, reattach, cross-attach, etc., uh, divisions, brigades, and whatever the case may be. Uh, uh, but they did. So let's talk about the turn. Uh, the, the, the NATO guys had a couple of problems. Uh, they've got Kiel under pressure. They had a. Uh, uh, these, the, these guys were here, and they had uh, surrounded a division there. So they fought that chappy. And then there were, uh, this division was here behind enemy lines and uh, going to be isolated. And in fact, isolated for the turn, we had to drop his uh, proficiency rating down by one. But we managed to get a pretty good attack in there and, and actually eliminate, what did we eliminate or retreat? I think we made them retreat. These guys had to retreat. Yeah. And so that forced, uh, that, that allowed me to reconnect those chaps there. Uh, so this, this line doesn't look too bad now. It's pretty weak here. Obviously, uh, these guys all have one, uh, disruption each, which brings them down to an effectiveness of five. So they're going to get a minus one on every attack they do if they attack. So, uh, they're quickly becoming a slightly weakened force and less effective force. Um, excuse the elves there as well. In any case, the so this is not terribly strong. So that will be an interesting combat to to try and conduct as the Soviets. But I still have another move. The, the NATO forces still have one more move, and we're going to probably pop these chaps up in here, try not to break break the uh, stacking limits here. Maybe move the first armored in uh, to take a to either take up a defensive position or potentially take a swipe at something. Uh, probably not a smart idea to attack anything this turn, given that all these guys couldn't participate because they're, they're adjacent to enemy forces at the beginning of the sub phase. Uh, right, then down here, things look actually really good here. Uh, this attack down here went extremely well, and we forced a retreat. And we advanced into here, and we've secured the Munich front, and I'll have an opportunity to move all these guys this uh this coming phase and reorganize that line. Although I may have to uh, worry a little bit about this down here, but I think the mountain terrain is gonna bog up pretty quickly that whole Northern Italian Austrian segment. So uh, I know I'm posting a lot of video on this. I, I find it interesting. That's why I'm doing it. 
Uh, it's lots to you know, pontificate about and talk about, and the, this is fun. It's a fun game. It's an interesting game. So uh, anyway, you probably don't want to hear any more of this voice. I will leave it here, and we will go on to the NATO second impulse, and we'll carry on and go from there. Later, guys.